tell me that you love me even if it's fake cuz i don't fucking care Hey what is up you guys, this is Nacho here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video and today we are playing on the new DLC 2 map Exus. This is the Rust remake and honestly probably my favorite map from Modern Warfare 2 and uh, let me just say man, I'm pretty happy with what they did about it man. Uh, I'm gonna be making a more in-depth video in the next day or two about Rust versus this map and showing you guys all the differences uh, but what I can tell or how it plays so far in Infinite Warfare, it plays amazingly. Honestly, I think it is so much fun uh, for whatever reason reason it feels a lot bigger i don't know if they made the map a little bit bigger i don't know why but like it just feels like it takes longer to get from like one side of the map to the other uh which leads me to believe that maybe they did kind of stretch out the map which is a good thing especially when you're playing with these jetpack call of duties now the thing that i like about this map now in this game is that instead of only having uh, to run up basically the uh the tubes in like modern warfare 2 you can just straight jump up to the second floor you can jump up to the third floor so you can easily challenge people who are trying to control the top of the map. Uh, one thing I noticed about this map as opposed to the MW2 version is that it's a lot easier in this version to kill the people off the third story. Anybody who's familiar with Modern Warfare 2 knows that people would run all the way up and uh, just camp on the third story and it was almost impossible to kill them a lot of the times uh, because they were just constantly shooting down at you and it was really hard to shoot up at them. In this game, that's not the case, especially since you can use your jetpack to your ability. A lot of you guys know that I basically use Synaptic 24-7 with propulsion and uh, uh, man, this map brings back so many memories and it's so much fun. Uh, the spawns are pretty wacky. That's one thing that I did notice. It'll kind of just keep flipping them from like one corner of the map to the other corner. I mean, but that's to be expected when you get a small map like this. And uh, I get this gameplay using the K-Bar. I can see using the K-Bar very successful on this map. I mean, you can use the K-Bar almost any map. Uh, to be honest, I would say maybe use like an LMG on this map, like the Raw. I can see the Raw being a really good weapon for this map, especially when it's like a 6v6. In this lobby, it kind of sucks because when I drop, I got a warden and when I drop the warden on them, you guys know what happens. People fucking piece the fuck out of the lobby and they dip out. And then there was only like four of them left and then I killed like one or two of them more and then they rage quit as well. So then there was like two people left. You guys already know how it goes in Infinite Warfare with people rage quitting all the time. But man, I hope, I think you guys are going to really like this map if you guys uh, are familiar with Modern Warfare 2. I think they did a great job of remastering it and I had a lot of fun playing it and I know I'm going to have tons of fun playing it on the PS4. But man, I hope you guys are excited for DLC too. Like I told you guys, man, I'm gonna be spamming you guys with videos all day, just showcasing all the new stuff to you guys. I hope you guys look forward to it, man, and I hope I don't bug you guys too much. As always, my name is Papa Nacho. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Nacho Nation. <laughs>